I guess is how you can put it. Uh, really strict. They were really strict? Yeah. And um, I think my first date was actually, as soon as I turned 17, I'm not even sure if this counts. 17? Yeah, as soon as I turned 17, I was like, I want to go on a date so bad, I made my gay friend, you know, uh, you know who I'm talking about. Was this to, uh, oh, Josh. Yeah, I made him take me out on a date. But I'm not sure if that counts, because I just want to go on a date so bad, and I was finally 17. Oh, this is interesting. What'd you do on a gay date? (laughs) I'm going to be honest, I don't, I don't remember what we did. It, It wasn't. Like, it wasn't a real date, so it's not like it's super memorable. You know what I mean? I just remember wanting to go on a date so bad, and I turned 17, I was like, Josh, like, my gay best friend, <laughs> come on, take me on a date. Like, <laughs> But I know you had boyfriends before that, so that wasn't your first date. No, but we never went on dates. Like, it was too young. It's not like you have money when you're younger or whatever. Like, it's not a real date. You know what I mean? Sure, like, sure. Like, when... Like, when you're younger, okay, when you're in middle school, okay, maybe you had boyfriends and stuff, but do you really count them, like, boyfriend and girlfriends from middle school? No, except that I have since reconnected with them. Okay. And but by I guess reconnect, you mean... No? Okay, my bad. <laughs> like, the creaky window, uh, watching them while they sleep. Oh, that's, that's awkward. Okay. <laughs> No, um, for another show, though. I really <laughs> don't remember my first date. Just okay. What about okay? Kiss then. I mean, first kiss. Oh, I definitely remember this one. So, was it the gay guy? <laughs> no, it was not the gay guy. <laughs> no, my first kiss was actually like sixth, seventh grade. It was pretty early. Oh, like you know, back in the day when okay. everyone was like, "Oh my God, you guys kiss. You're so terrible. You're so badass. I don't know. You're gonna get pregnant. <laughs> I don't know about that, but." And actually, my best friend uh, now was the guy that I kissed back then. And my other best friend who hooked us up, well, okay, my other best friend now is the one who hooked us up back then. So I think it's just funny how three of us are, like, best friends and we all went back from... It's like an odd love trying not to yeah, every Yeah, it's really odd. I'm not going to lie. Like, I honestly, if it was for anyone else, I probably wouldn't even believe them. You know, like, oh, we're all just friends, blah, 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 but we are, we are, we're really good friends. I mean, it was middle school. If it was, like, fresh out of high school, like, into college, totally different story. Because, I mean, so much happens between, like, middle school and college, right? Like, sex, and then, like, actually being out, actually having a little bit of independence to go on a date. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, did it change? Okay, I'm I'm curious because you had a long-term relationship going into high school, right? Or had yeah, a long Yeah, we met in eighth grade. Yeah, and it was serious. I mean, I assumed you guys, like, did the deed. But are your relationships now different than they were back then? Like, how is how you date now different than how you dated back then? I'm sure the relationships are different. I don't know if I go about them differently because I've always kind of been a relationship person. So I always kind of treat my relationships... But I mean, is there a line? But, but like, obviously, I do not count the people that I dated in early high school and middle school. Just because emotional immaturity... Well, okay, I see what you're saying. not dating, like, was there a line for you? Just because you went in, like, young, having a serious relationship. Yeah, it's sad to say that the girl I was with for two years that I lost it to, even, uh, I don't really consider that big of a relationship just because like I didn't know any better you know I was 8th grade freshman year the tiniest bit of sophomore year and then after that that's when I started getting to meet people and actually having a personality yeah okay. so that's when you know you, you I couldn't I didn't even know who I was when I started dating her yeah so I didn't know who I was when we broke up and then I started to find out and was that your first date by the way just wondering my first date was it before or after her? <laughs> I remember my first date, official date, was before her. Um, really? An official date? How old were you? It was like 8th grade. It was like right before I met her. Jesus. Yeah. I wasn't was, even you know, allowed to house yeah. without parent supervision in 8th grade. This <laughs> <is a laughs> what? Lot, this was a lot of firsts, actually, because it was my very first date ever. I met her through a mutual friend. We all went ice skating together, and I met her, and she thought I was cute, and I thought she was cute, so I, like, asked her out. So the next day we went out on a date. 
Oh, it's weird. This girl is a total stalker now that I think about it. <laughs> She's it's a because total what happened what? was she gave me a number, and I did not give her my number. Okay. Because I asked for her number. Okay. And then she gave me a number, and I don't know if she was dyslexic or something, but the numbers were scrambled. Okay. Okay. And then she called me. And I don't know how she got my number, but she did. And um, so she called me and asked me out after I'd asked for her number. I always kind of just looked over that fact because I was so excited to have a girlfriend or whatever. So we went on a date. And then by the end of that date, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. We went and saw... Yeah, pirates. see, this is... But this is what I mean. Like, between having a date when you're younger and having a date when you're older, like, now you take more time. Like, when you date someone, you have, like, a couple of dates. Yeah, yeah. And, like, there's more, like, protocol to how those dates go. Mm-hmm. But, like, when you're younger, it's just like, oh, we have a crush on her, on, on each other. Like, So we must, so be, we must be boyfriend yeah, and girlfriend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ah. Uh, <laughs> so we went and saw Pirates of the Caribbean as our first date, and she talked during the whole movie. And I would have punched her in the face. I'm so sorry. I yeah. hate when people talk during movies. Because I've always been a film goer. I can't stand people talk during the movies. <laughs> uh, it's the worst. And my sisters, my sisters are just as bad. One of my sisters always asks what just happened. Oh, I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of do that sometimes. I know sometimes. you, <laughs> <laughs> you <know? laughs> But she does it in a way where she looks over and she's like, psst, what they just say? Like, and then as soon as she, they, she says that, I forgot. <laughs> so I'm missing key plot points throughout the whole movie. And by the end of a movie, I'm sitting with her. I just don't get it. Yeah. No, I just hate when people talk during the movies. Like, if someone asks what's going on, like, to me, it's not a big deal just because I do that. I can't be hypocritical. Well, I can. Maybe I should start being. But anyways, like, I hate when people just keep talking and talking and talking. But, okay, go ahead with your date story. Oh, Sorry. Well, first date, totally so by just, the like, end of Pirates it. of the Caribbean, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. We didn't even kiss that day. But <laughs> that next morning, I was in eighth grade, so I was like, I love you. She's like, I love you. I love you more than... I love my parents. We got away together. It was ridiculous. It was puppy love to the max. Oh and my then, god! I love you more than I love my I know, parents. I know we kissed. I love you so much. It's retarded. So and then we kissed like once during the week we were together, and then she dumped me at the end of the week, <laughs> and I was devastated. Oh my god! I like stayed up all night and I couldn't think. I was like. She was the best thing that ever happened. <laughs> it was, it was so. No, that's funny to think about it now. But I remember back then, everything seemed so serious. Yeah, I, I definitely know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, now you need to tell me this. So I was watching. Um, can't remember where I was watching the commercial, but you know the commercial for Virgin Diaries. Yeah. It's like a TLC guessing. show, and it's like about like all these thirty, forty, fifty, eighty-year-old virgins. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. And it's like this one couple. And they haven't even kissed yet, and I guess they ha- they haven't kissed until their wedding day. Okay. I'm not sure if this is real or not. Like with reality shows, like you never, you never know. know, you yeah. absolutely never know. But I'm just thinking, like, because I have never met a person where their first kiss was amazing. Like it's always awful. Like I think it's something, just like any sport or anything. Like the more you do it, the better you get at it. Like the more practice you have. Because like was I your like my first kissing experience. I'm sorry to my best friend. Uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty terrible. <laughs> like you don't know where the lips are, where the tongue is. Like teeth are accidentally hitting. Like it's especially since mine was on the bus. Like you hit over a speed bump <laughs> and you like bonking heads. <laughs> no, uh, well I grew up with a bunch of chicks, I guess, because I had a bunch of sisters and I lived with my mom a lot. And so I mean, I don't know if that makes me a relationship person, but I remember my first kiss. It wasn't bad at all. I remember I was really. I was so, like, it went so well. But then again, she did give me a fake number. But also, she was, like, five years older than me, too. Oh, it was, okay. It was, I remember, it was July 4th, the eighth, the summer before eighth grade. So, uh-huh. I got my first kiss, and I had my first girlfriend, and then I had my first serious girlfriend in high school, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, I remember my first kiss was on 4th of July during the fireworks show. And I remember it was, because I was out in Kansas visiting some family. And me and my cousins were all playing at the park, and some of their friends came over to visit us. Mm -hmm. And we had, like, flirted all night, and we were talking, and then during the fireworks, we're sitting, and I'm like, oh, should I hold this girl's hand? Should I hold her hand? She was, I was in eighth grade, and she was, like, 
junior in high school or something. What the heck? Yeah, but she was so hot, dude. I remember. And possibly a little bit of a pedo. Pedo yeah, bear. but the thing is, <laughs> people outside of Vegas think Vegas is sexy. So all I had yeah, to Yeah, okay. I, I will attest else. to that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you just tell them, oh, where are you from? I'm from Vegas. They're like, oh. <gasps> Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah. I, oh I God, totally know casino? what you're talking about. So, for some reason, they think it's sexy. So and I they think you live in a casino. Always. Always. Someone always has to ask that <laughs> question. I don't know why. Don't know what it is. I don't have a kitchen. I just eat it at the buffet. <laughs> the all-you-can-eat buffet at the strip club.